hints for screencasting. So here are some do's and don'ts. First of all, it is a good idea to provide text or subtitles as this adds to the audio in making uh, communication clearer. Do keep in mind the resolution or the clarity of the image. If it's too small and hard to see, this will frustrate the users. Do test the screencast, especially if using webcam, as um, it can do look different in the preview um, and then it may not be what you expect. On to the don'ts. Um, do watch your colour schemes and things, again looking for this ease of reading. The next point talks about demoing and that's about just don't make claims that aren't going to work. It is a good idea to keep the tutorials or screencasts short and especially with tools like Screencast-O-Matic or if you, um, you need to record again if it's short it means that um, you don't have to um, redo quite as much. It is a good idea to consider things like quizzes and things that you might use to um, evaluate learning that has occurred. Just some few other little tips. Um, not all learning is best done with a screencast, so just consider your learning objectives. Another idea is to provide multiple ways of learning. So not only a screencast, but also maybe Word documents, because the more options that students have, the better chance of meeting their learning needs. Another hint is to do a script. Some people recommend a script with the slide on one side and the um, text that you want to say on the other. Um, this can help with reducing errors and make it quicker to create your screencast. So good luck with screencasting because it's a great way of helping learners to go step by step through concepts or processes.